Hey, my sisters. Good afternoon to you. Hello there. Hello there. Pray you guys are doing well on today. God is good. He touched my heart, told me to go live on today. Told me to go live right now. The Lord wants to bless you with a word. I'm not going to be with you long I'm on here. I wanted to um, be obedient and say what God wants me to say. Pray a prayer blessing over you. And then you can, you're free to go and enjoy the rest of your day. God is good. The Lord wanted me to get on here um, and, and share an encouraging word with someone. And um, it's just what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing in the spirit. And, um, and I pray it blesses somebody today. Let's go ahead and pray. Father God, we love you. We bless you. We thank you. You are faithful. You are true. We thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your presence right now. Your presence is here. and You want to bless us today. You want to take every burden, every care, every worry, every anxiety. You want to just take it off of us, Lord, and give us your peace. Hallelujah. And so we pray that that happens today. We pray, Father God, for a divine exchange in the name of Jesus. We give you our cares, our worries, our concerns, our fears, our anxieties. We give you all of these things, Father God. And in that exchange, we receive your supernatural peace that surpasses all understanding. That kind of peace that don't make no sense. We receive that from you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I just left from ministering at um, Hope Harbor. It's a recovery program, one-year recovery program there. And on the way there, I was asking the Lord what he wanted me to share with the ladies there. And uh, he said, I want you to tell them, do not worry. And so when I got there, uh, one of the ladies, she began to talk about some things. And she said, she said, I believe the Lord don't want us to worry. And she didn't know that that was exactly what God told me to share and talk about today, this morning. And so I shared with them, and they were so blessed. We were all blessed by the message there. And when I got home, as soon as I stepped foot in the house, Holy Spirit said, I want you to share with them what you shared with, at the recovery place, at the recovery center. And so, and so I am going to share with you guys the same thing. But I hear the Lord saying, do not worry. Do not worry. Do not worry. It tells us in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, Cast all of your care upon him, for he cares for you. And I love the Amplified Bible. I love how the Amplified Bible says that scripture. It says, casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, and all your concerns, once and for all, on him, for he cares about you with deepest affection and watches over you very carefully. I'll read that again. The Amplified Version of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 says, casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, and all your concerns, once and for all, on him, for he cares about you with deepest affection and watches over you very carefully. Psalms chapter 55 verse 22 says, Cast your burden on the Lord, and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. I'll read that again. Cast your burden on the Lord and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. Another translation says he shall never permit you to fall or slip. So the Lord says do not worry. In Luke chapter 19, verses 28 through verse 38, 
follow me, okay? Just hang out with me in scripture for a minute, all right? It's going to bless you. Because God says, do not worry. But we need help with this, right? Because we need help with not worrying. And God says, I'm about to help you right now. This is why I don't want you to worry, all right? Luke chapter 19, verses 28 through verse 38. It says, when he... When he, Jesus, had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. And it came to pass, when he drew near to Bethphage, I think that's how you pronounce that, Bethphage, and Bethany, and Bethany, at the mountain called Olivet, that he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go into the village. He told two of his disciples this, okay? Go into the village opposite you. Whereas you enter, you will find a colt or a donkey tied on which no one has ever sat. Loose it and bring it here. And if anyone asks you, why are you loosing it? Thus you shall say to him, because the Lord has need of it. So those who were sent went their way and found it just as he had said to them. But as they were loosing the colt or the donkey, the owners of it said to them, Why are you loosing the donkey? And they said, The Lord has need of him. Then they brought him to Jesus and they threw their own clothes on the coat. The King James says they cast their coats onto the donkey and they set Jesus on him. And as he went, many spread their clothes on the road. Then as he was now drawing near, the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Okay, here's the situation. Jesus give his disciples some instructions. He say, I want you guys to go into the village. On the opposite side, you're going to see a donkey tied, which no one has ever sat on. I want you to loose it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you loosing it? You shall say to him, because the Lord has need of him. The disciples did exactly what he said, and they ran into the same situation just as Jesus said. The owners of the donkey said, why are you loosing our donkey? They said, the master has need of him. The owner said, okay, you may use the donkey. Notice what they did. They cast their coats. They cast their clothes onto the donkey. Jesus sat on top of their coats and on top of their clothes and rolled into the city. People praising God, saying glory be to God in the highest. That word cast is the only word. There's only one other word in the entire New Testament that means the exact same thing as it does in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, where God says, casting your cares upon him, for he cares for you. There's only one other word in the Bible, in the whole New Testament, that means that exact same thing. And that's this word here, when it says they cast their coats onto the donkey. They threw their clothes onto the donkey. They cast it. And what did Jesus do with those coats? What did he do with their clothes? He sat on top of it. 
He reigned on top of it. I hope y'all are listening. I hope your spiritual ears are turned way up. There's a reason God says, I want you to cast your cares upon me for I care for you. There's a reason he says, I want you to give that care about your children to me. I want you to give that care about your marriage to me. I want you to give that care about your finances to me. I want you to give that care about your future and your life and all these situations to me. He says, the reason I want you to do that, I'm about to sit on it. I'm about to reign over it. I'm about to rule over it. I'm about to be glorified in it. Hallelujah. Jesus sat on their coats. You don't see no disciple coming and pulling their coats and saying, hey, I need that. Can I have that back, please? And so the Amplified says, the Amplified Bible says, casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all. For he cares for you. God cares about you. With deepest affection, the Amplified Bible says, and watches over you very carefully. You think you're a good mama. Your parenting is nothing. It's no match for your Heavenly Father. You think you've been watching over your children and your grandchildren. You think you've been tenderly caring for them. But your mothering, your, your watching over them is no match for the Lord. You think you love your husband, but your love is no match for the Lord. You think you love your mama and your daddy and you care about their well-being, but your care and your concern is no match for the Lord. And so God says, you give that care to me. I care for them and I care for you. He says, I'm going to, as you cast it over onto me, I'm going to sit on it. My presence is going to sit on it. My glory is going to sit on it. My wisdom is going to sit on it. My power, my nature, my character, all that I am is going to sit on top of what's been sitting on top of you. I'm going to reign over what's been trying to reign over you. I'm going to rule over what's been trying to rule over you. Hallelujah. But he can't do that unless we cast it over. Unless we give it to him. Once and for all. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, I want to be, I want to be glorified in your life. God says, I want to be glorified in every single area of your life. And he says, I will be. He said, I will be glorified. I will reign in your life and you will reign in me. How are you going to reign? Not by ruling over everything and trying to control everything and trying to help people that you can't help save people that you can't save, free people that you can't free. How will you reign? You're going to reign through Jesus. And you're going to reign by one Jesus Christ. And you're going to rest in his authority. You're going to rest in his victory. You're going to rest in the finished work of Christ. That's how you're going to rule. That's how you're going to reign. You're going to reign by resting in him. And making that exchange. Give him all that worry. Give him all those concerns. And you say, Father, I receive your peace. I receive your rest in my heart and your rest in my mind. And I know it's hard at first because you, you like, Lord, I love anything like a coat. A coat represents something that's dear to you. A coat represents something that you use to cover yourself. A care is something that's dear. You care about your family. You care about your children. You care about your grandchildren. You care about your life. But Jesus says, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself. Take up his cross. Follow me. If you really want to come after me, Jesus says, deny. Deny. What happens when you deny something? You put it down. 
I'm not taking that with me. I put that down. These cares, these worries, I'm, I'm pursuing the Lord. I'm coming after him. I want him more than anything. I want to be who he made me to be. I want to do what he's called me to do. I deny myself. I deny these cares. I desire, deny these fears. I deny these anxieties. I deny these, this false way of seeing myself. I deny all of this. I deny it. I deny it. I deny it. I let it go. I take up my cross, my divine responsibility. I take up my responsibility as God's daughter. And I pursue God, and we pursue him. God says, no more worrying, no more caring, no more being burdened down, no more. He said, come after me. You're not a better parent than I am. Denying yourself is also denying any high-mindedness. High anything you have said to yourself that, is, that comes against the knowledge of God. Anything that is highly exhausted, exalted against the knowledge of God, you cast that down. That's denying self. Humbling yourself. And in that place of humility... You say, Father God, I'm not a savior. I'm not the healer. I'm not the way maker. I'm not most high. I'm not most wise. I'm not you. Carrying these burdens means that I'm trying to be you. And I'm trying to do your job. I'm not you. I give this to you. I cast it. I cast it. I cast my children. I cast the care. I cast it. I cast these concerns about my life. I cast it. You are king. You are Lord. You are the Savior. You are the Deliverer. You are the Healer. You're the Balm of Gilead. Rose of Sharon. Hallelujah. You are mighty. I cast it on you. And I want you to ride on this. I want you to sit on it. I want you to sit on it, Father. Hallelujah. Be glorified in it. Hallelujah. Be glorified in it. Anything you give over to the Lord, he will be glorified in. If there's an area of your life that, are, that, is, that God is not being glorified in, it's because you have not yet given it completely over to the Lord. Can you imagine... Those disciples running up to Jesus while he's on that donkey and pulling those coats off. Hey, I need that. I gave that to you, but I need that. I want it back. Even they had sense enough to cast it once and for all. Give it to him once and for all. Hallelujah. We can do all things through Christ who gives us strength, which gives us strength. We can do all things through Christ, the anointing and the, the anointed one and his anointing. We can do all things through Christ, the anointed one and his anointing. We can do all things. We can give burdens over to him. We can give worry over to him. We can let our children go. And give, it to, give them to the Lord. And trust that God is a better parent than we ever can be. He sees what we don't see. He goes what we don't go. He knows what we don't know. It's time we give these things to God and realize our limited ability. You think you're an awesome parent. God is an amazing father. 
God is an amazing father. We got to move out the way and let God have his way. Let the king come in. Okay? Let the king come in and do what he does. Praise God. He wants to reign over it. He wants to rule over what's been trying to rule over you. He wants to reign over what's been trying to reign over you. But the only way he can do that is if you cast it on him. Hallelujah. He says, when you cast your burden on him, Psalms chapter 55, verse 22, when you cast your burdens on the Lord, he promises to sustain you. He promises to be your peace. He says, cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will not suffer the righteous to be moved. He will not. What does that mean? What does that mean? When you cast it for real, you're going to begin to sense God's peace. And you're going to sense, oh, he got it. And then he's going to show you that he got it. Some of us don't leave our care there long enough to, to get that peace and to get that assurance, his sustaining power that keeps you standing in that place. Some of you go and get that care just as quickly as you left it there. You go and say, oh, you pick that back up again. You don't feel some people don't feel right not worrying about their children. They think their, their job as a mother is to worry. No, it ain't. Your responsibility, before you're a mother, you're a God's daughter. Before you were ever a grandmother, you were God's daughter. Before you were ever a wife, you're a God's daughter. And what does your heavenly father want you to do right now? Rest in him. That's your divine responsibility is to be God's daughter and let him be your father. And what does a daughter do? When their daddy is on the case, when their daddy is working it out, she rests. She rests. And so don't go and get it. You, you leave it there once and for all. Praise God. And you let that peace come and minister to your heart. God says, "He, I will sustain you. I will sustain you. I will sustain you. I will not suffer the righteous to be moved. You will not slip. You will not fall. You will see God triumph over whatever's been trying to triumph over you and your family. That spirit of addiction has to go. That wayward spirit that want to get them off course, that spirit has to go. In the name of Jesus. Every ungodly spirit is trying to come after your, the people in your life. They have to go. Those spirits have to flee in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. It has to go. It has to leave him alone. Hallelujah. The king is coming in. You've given God your cares and now it gives God room to come in and be glorified. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Father God, we come before you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for your for the king. We thank you, Lord God. You are you are our Lord. You are our king. And you want to be glorified in every area of our lives. Every area. You want to reign and rule over every area. Forgive us, Lord God, for first of all, forgive us for any fretting, any worrying. Forgive us, Lord, for being all worked up. Forgive us, Lord. All anxieties, Father God, we give all of this to you. We do exactly what your word tells us to do, Father God, and we cast our cares on you. We cast our burdens on you. You care for us, and you care for our families, and you care for every person that's connected to us. You care about our situations. You care about our financial situations. You care about our health. You care about our future. You care about our situation, our living situations. All of these things, Lord God, you care for us. 
And we thank you, Lord God, as we cast our cares and burdens on you. You, you. you will do exactly what you say you will do, Father, and you will sustain us. You will keep us. You will help us. Thank you, Lord, for your sustaining power. Thank you, Lord. We don't have to go and try to do anything. We don't have to rush ahead of you and do anything. You sustain us. You help us stay still and see your salvation. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus for your sustaining power. We pray, Father God, for your keeping power in all of our lives. Keep us, keep our hands off of it. Keep our mouths off of it. Keep our thoughts off of it. In the name of Jesus, keep our minds stayed on you. You promise to keep us in perfect peace. Help us not even touch it in our thought life. When it comes to our mind, help us to, 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 to let it go and cast it down. Thank you, Lord, and focus in on you and what you told us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Our job is not to worry. Our job is to rest. While you work. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We give our children to you. They're yours anyway. You're an amazing father. And we trust you with our children. The children you gave us, Lord, they're yours. They were yours way before they were ours. And you love them more than we could ever love them. And you care for them more than we could ever care for them. And we care for them a lot. But you care for them more. And we give our children to you. We give our grandchildren to you. We give our nieces, nephews, cousins, aunts, uncles to you. We give our parents to you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We entrust them in your care in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray you watch over them. Every person connected to me and my sisters, Lord, we pray you watch over them. We pray you protect them. We pray you keep them, Lord God, until they make quality decisions for you, until they become sold out for you. We pray you watch over them. Don't let nothing happen to them. Don't let no harm come to their lives, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We give any cares and concerns about money and finances. We give all that to you, Father, in the name of Jesus. You care for us. You care for us. Any concerns about well-being and living arrangements, food and clothes, all these things. Why you tell us not to worry about these things. If you, if you provide for the birds, you can provide for us. If you clothe the lilies of the field, surely you will clothe us. You will clothe our children. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You know that we have need of all these things. And we thank you, Lord, for meeting every need. You will sustain us. You say, cast your burden. Cast any financial burdens, any marital burdens, any relational burdens, any health concerns. We cast those over to you. And we trust you to sustain us. In the name of Jesus. The care wants to rob us of life. It wants to make us older twice our age. It wants to, it wants to drain us of life and drain us of all of our vitality. And all the burdens of life, they just drain us and they weigh us down and make us look older than we are. But you say your word, Father God, they are bread, they are life. You say of the words that you speak, Father God, they are spirit and they are life. And we receive the sustain, the sustenance of your word and the sustenance of your life-giving Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus, Father. We pray you minister vitality to us. Strengthen our minds. Strengthen our hearts, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Feed us with your word. Let it sustain us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Strengthen us, Lord, according to your word in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You sustain us. 
Minister Life, Lord, any, any, any health problems that worry and stress and all that has caused us, we pray you heal us, Lord, of it in Jesus' name. Make us whole and complete in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Touch my sisters. Minister life. I speak Jesus over them. I speak the life of Christ over them. In Jesus' name, I speak hope over them. I speak your word over them. I thank you, Lord. They are sustained by you. They are kept by you. They are strengthened by you, directed by you, guided by you, comforted by your Holy Ghost, encouraged by you, healed by your touch in the name of Jesus, revitalized, refueled in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Breathe upon my sisters, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Breathe upon them. Fresh wind, fresh fire. Touch their minds. Bring their emotions. Settle their emotions. Bring them to a peaceful calm in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we pray you rule over whatever's been ruling over them. Reign over whatever's been trying to reign over them. No sin will have dominion over them, including the sin of worry. Only you will dominate in their life. And your Holy Spirit is the only spirit they yield to in the name of Jesus. Your Holy Spirit is the only spirit they subject themselves to in the name of Jesus. They're not governed by worry. They're not governed by fear. They're not governed by anxiety. They're governed by your Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Be glorified greatly. Hallelujah. Whatever the enemy meant for their harm, Father, turn it all around for their good. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hear that. The Lord says, I'm going to reign over what's been trying to reign over you. Lack is trying to reign over you guys. Says I'm going to reign over lack. I'm going to reign over poverty. I'm going to reign over it. Hallelujah. I'm going to reign over sickness and disease. I'm going to reign over addiction. I'm going to reign over it. Hallelujah. I'm reigning over anxiety and panic attacks and worry and fretfulness. I'm reigning over that, God says. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now receive the peace of God. Hallelujah. We just made an exchange. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We receive your overwhelming peace, your supernatural peace in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We receive your rest. Rest in our hearts. Rest in our minds. In the name of Jesus. You thank you, Lord. You bring our emotions, our system to rest, our bodies to rest. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for supernatural rest. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If this is an area that, that any of you struggle with, I want you to go and listen to this over it. Watch it again. Watch it again until God, until it goes from your head to your heart, to your life. It's going to go from your head to your heart to being demonstrated and walked out in your life. And sometimes we got to hear it again and again and again until the light bulb comes on, right? It's going to come on. 
And you're not going to be a warrior no more. You're going to be a warrior princess for the Lord. Not a warrior, but a warrior princess for the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. You're going to trust God more. And he's going to rule and reign in your life. And he's going to cause you to reign. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I love you so much. And I pray God blesses you bountifully. Praise the Lord. Bless you. Mwah, 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 mwah. Mwah. Love you. Bless you.